Hello and welcome to my new YouTube channel. Now, I'll admit this is not how I visualised my welcome video to look. Sitting in a hospital with a drip in my arm, however, I want to see this as an opportunity. An opportunity for you to see who I am and the part of my life that you don't see very often, not because I, don't, not because I hide it, but because I am very lucky and I make sure that I look after myself and I do keep very well. So I'm hoping that by sharing with you this journey over the next couple of weeks, that I will be able to not only inspire, but motivate others, but also, you know, put people with minds at ease with those, those people that follow me with Sia. Now, obviously for the next couple of weeks, my main focus is to be sharing you what I'm going through um, in order for me to get my health back on top form, because usually I am super, super well. And I mean, I am, because if I see myself and compare, which, I don't do very often to other people that suffer from cystic fibrosis. I am extremely lucky. I am so fortunate. I am so grateful for that. But I do work hard for that also. So I'll be taking you through the journey that I'll be going through, the emotions, um, the medications, um, in and out hospital, and the training that I'm going to be doing, as well as sharing with you my hospital essentials. So this will be ranging from the snacks, which I am the queen of snacks, so these are the biggest things. Um, workout routines to keep you strong and healthy while you are in hospital. Things to do that, you know, being around in this space can get boring. So things that will keep you fully entertained. I plan on being completely honest with you about how I'm feeling, whether I'm having a good day or whether I'm struggling. Um, so I'm going to talk to you about my admission so far because it has not been plain sailing. On Friday, it was the 1st of September and it was a planned admission because a couple of weeks ago I came to have an appointment and it didn't go to as planned which took me back a little bit because I have been training super hard, I've been eating well and I have not been missing any of my medications. But I always believe there has to be a setback for an almighty comeback and this has given me the chance to not only share this with you but it has given me the opportunity to remap my life and that may sound slightly overdramatic but what I'm saying is it's made me realise so much, but I'll save that for another video. So I came in on Friday and um, I expected for the line to go in straight away and for me to be set up and go, I mean, I haven't been in hospital for seven years. I was anxious and of course I was worried and I was nervous because I couldn't remember what the drugs felt like. I couldn't remember what it felt like to have an IV put in your arm. Bear in mind my IV is from here all the way up you know there are so many aspects to coming into hospital that if you've never been in you don't realize and even my, i've you know i've not realized so it took them two attempts to get my line in now the, the funny part of the situation is the nurse was complaining that my veins didn't bleed and now it's in i can't stop it so um they got it in eventually and we started treating and all seemed to be going well until I woke up in the morning so groggy with a headache um, with no want to do anything. But I got up, I got dressed and I went out into the sun, had a coffee and had some breakfast and I cannot tell you the importance of having normality. Normality when you're in hospital when, you know, you. I believe that being in hospital it makes you feel like you're sick. Even if you are, it makes you feel worse. So trying to have an element of being normal is so important. And before you ask, no, I am allowed out. I didn't escape. We're allowed out between treatment times, which is the beauty of being here because as long as we're here for when we're needed, we can literally go and roam and come back. So I'm lucky and I'm so thankful for that. So it is Sunday. It is my third day here. And I have just been to Hyde Park around the, around the lake and back. Now, it's the first time since I've run with my OV and actually it felt so much better than I thought it was gonna be. Although my lungs did feel tight, um, I feel strong. So hopefully the more I do, the better it will get. Um, and I think even the nurses commented when I got back because I don't think it's something that they see very often. Um, but it was quite emotional because I did the exact same route that I did seven years ago when I was in here for my first ever admission. So it brought back a lot of memories. But with that, it also brought back the determination. 
Now sometimes you can get lost and you can forget the person you are, but never ever lose touch with um, the person that got you to where you are now. And for me that person is the strong-willed, slightly stubborn, determined, ambitious person. And it, this run has actually given me a new lease of life. It's made me realise that you can't just sit still. If you want to achieve something, you have to go and do it. I mean, I did get some really funny looks around Hyde Park, I think I either looked like I escaped from the hospital or... I'm not entirely sure. But the point is, I went out and did it, and now I feel great. Um, if you watch the end of this video, I will be sharing with you two workouts. One of them will be in the park, but it will be a body weight, so you can literally do it anywhere. The other one will be here in my hotel. Hotel? Wrong. Hospital room, because if you're ever in this situation, you're in hospital for any reason, and want to try and keep fit and healthy and active, then I want to share with you the kind of things that I do. Or if you're in a hotel, because obviously this is basically a hotel, right? Um... But I'm hoping that I'll be able to inspire you to do some workouts even when you don't feel like it because you will never regret a workout. And actually now I feel full of life and I feel amazing. Um, and I'm already looking forward to going to go and train tomorrow. So remember, even if you don't feel like it, make sure you go out and train. In other news, so I had to have some blood tests done this morning to check for my tobramycin levels in my blood. And they are a bit higher, so I haven't had that today. So um, they're going to reach out to them tomorrow, and hopefully if they are okay, then I'll be able to go and self-medicate from home, which would be amazing, um, because there literally is no place like home. Don't get me wrong, it's not so bad, but I know that at home that I can really recover quickly and be able to do a lot more and be able to, you know, actually rest, because right now all I'm wanting to be doing is spending as little time in this room as I can. So, as promised, um, and I apologise if I do end up getting a bit upset. Um, so I've just seen the doctor and I've just seen, just had my lung function done. And for whatever reason it has dropped again which is not really what I was expecting, if I'm honest. Um, and my levels of my blood still aren't right, which means I can't go home. And I'll probably be in here for at least another couple of days. And I realise in the grand scheme, it will be insignificant, but right now, right now it's really not. And I realise compared to other patients that are here, this is really, really, um, kind of may seem a bit silly, but I think the reality of it is just hit me a bit more. But with that, I'm not going to give up. In actual fact, I've just planned, um, planned, planned what I'm going to do. Giving up will never be an option for me, and I truly believe that these tough times are put there for a reason and yes, they test us and yes, when you're going through it, it's the hardest thing in the world, but they only make you stronger and I will look back on this and I will learn a hell of a lot. I am still very lucky to be in the situa situation that I am now, but it's tough. But it will only spare me on. It will only it will only make me try harder. So CF better be ready because you wanna try them and you wanna test me. Bring it on. I will I will I will beat this. And I will get back to hundred percent. It's just gonna take take some fun tuning. Take a bit more effort. But once I'm back there, there is no stopping me and there is no no being back in here. So the first time in a long time it's made me realise the importance, even more so, of looking after you as a person and doing what's right for you. Because I'm so busy putting so many other people first because that's how I like it. 
because I'm a carer and I love looking after people. Sometimes, just sometimes, you have to think about yourself first. And this is one of those times. Let's do this. She's a flame So bright she can 